um, the funniest fucking thing that happened to me uh, the other day was, um, or no, not the other day, yesterday, me, me and Molly went out to fucking um, IHOP. <laughs> as we're leaving, as we're checking out, um, the our waitress, the host was like, and the waitress, the person checking us out was like, what do you think about Biden Trump? And it, it, to be fair, she was like the 16 year old. I don't really think she knew how to like, have a casual conversation type of thing, you know, but it was just hilarious. And like Molly ended up doing, cause I like, I did not want, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like they're both awful. Like I could, I could truly give, give less of a shit about, I, like I, I have no preference on which is better or worse in my mind. Um, but it was just wild. I'm like, I've never had that experience ever in food service. <laughs> Fucking somebody like just being like, Hey, yo, what's your take on Trump and Biden? Oh my God. I think it's crazy that he act- that he fucking uh, landslided. Like it was a fucking landslide of a victory for him, at least in this caucus. New Hampshire will be interesting. I can't believe you- I can't believe he's gonna like be in it. And that's the thing. Who knows if he even will be in it? Like I feel like that they're gonna do everything they can to keep him off the ballot. Colorado already said that they're gonna. Yeah, I know, right? The caucus definitely brings out the worst in people. <laughs> um, well, voting in general, right? I mean, people. The whole thing is, you know, people don't vote for what's right; they vote for what's convenient. I think uh, Colorado has already said that they're going to uh, they're going to take them off the ballot, which is wild. Um, so that's kind of a weird thing that's happening, right? And like, he can get ri- like people will write him in, but it won't count for anything, right? I I'm I'm really considering not voting this year. Like, re- like, an, I I think there's like an eighty percent chance I'm not going to vote because. Um, look, I think there's an argument to be made. Like, uh, if if you don't believe in something, if you don't think that that's relevant for you, then like, why participate in it, right? Like, I, I think there is something to be said for like just saying, you know, what? I'm not going to participate in this. Like, I don't really give a fuck who's the president. Like, who, like I care about who's the mayor and who's the um, like who's the mayor, who's the governor. Like, those are the two things that I care about because they actually affect us. Yeah, no, I don't blame anybody for being minimal in pocket. Um, politics. If I were to vote for anybody, it would probably be RFK Jr. I won't lie, even though he probably doesn't really have a chance. But I think it's a very interesting rate. I think it's, he's he's, ugh, he's an interesting candidate for sure. Um, yeah, RFK. Uh, so, but I mean, you know, he was on the Epstein list uh, too, and uh, I mean, he he did give a pretty good explanation for it. But you know, you know, you never know, right? Like he is a member of a very powerful political family, so it's not crazy to um to be sketched out by that. Oh. I don't vote, I'm sorry. Either way, in my opinion, we are fucked. It's not our control. Not in our control. And either way, personally I just find the whole damn first Republican is so dumb. I agree, Travis. Yeah. That is why I'm a libertarian. <laughs> Which there could be an argument that that's dumb too. Um but yeah, no, I, I, um, I registered as libertarian, I think, two years ago, and um, yeah, I, I look, I think either either way, like either party you align with, you're making some sort of sacrifice in like the morality of it, right? Like one way or another, your party's gonna be corrupt in some way, and sure, I mean the libertarian party's corrupt. For, in some ways, for sure. Like, I'm not going to deny that either. Libertarianism is basically just um, the idea that people should be free, um, that um, they shouldn't have their other wills, others' wills imposed on them. Um, they should have the choice to, um, you know, if they're over 18, um, buy property, wherever. Um, yeah. You know. Dr- you know, be able to use drugs, um, be able to, um, any drugs they, they would like as they see fit, however they see fit. Um, basically, as long as you're not harming another person, um, really, it's free game. Um, so that's kind of what libertarians believe. I, I think a lot of people will um, kind of bastardize the libertarian name. I mean, there's a lot of people who will bastardize. Like, they'll say they're libertarian-leaning... But then they'll still, like, I have a friend who's, like, he says he's libertarian-leaning, but then he, like, thinks that certain drugs should be illegal and that people should still be arrested for that. And I'm like, no, well, then you're not a libertarian, man. 
<laughs> Libertarians want people to own tanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Look, like, I do think that it's kind of an extreme point. Like, when people go to that extreme or, like, the nukes, like, I fucking, I, I'm not a fan of that. I won't lie. Um, you know, like, I don't own a firearm. I don't necessarily think that, like, like, it, I think people should own guns. I think people should, um, protect themselves. But I think when you get to the point where it's, like, encouraging people to take, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that. So, I mean, yes, technically, people should own tanks. Um, and I do think that, like, if more people... Look, I mean, look, if it was a free market, A, tanks would be more affordable. Look, I mean, in a free market society, those things would be cheaper, and I do believe the um, uh, armed society is applied society. So I, I do see the argument. Um, but, yeah, I don't really like the whole, like, when libertarians just jump to that, like, own tanks like that. Like, it's almost like you're intentionally deterring people, right? 